So I can see that your skin is evenly pigmented, nice and fair. I see that you have scattered macules, also known as freckles, on your face and on your arms. I have a few on your legs as well. I'm going to be looking at the texture of your skin. It's nice and smooth. The temperature, as well as the moisture of your skin. I'm going to pinch your skin a little bit. And it should go right back to where it started. Just That shows that your skin is well hydrated. Next, I'm going to have you stick out your hands. I want to look at your nails. I'm just going to look at the shape of your nails, looking for any lesions, also looking at the hygiene of your nails. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to check capillary refill. That just checks perfusion, and the blood should rush right back in two to three seconds. Okay? All right, your nails look good. So that concludes the examination of the skin. Next, I'm going to look at your head, first starting with your scalp. I'm just going to run my hands through your hair, checking your scalp for any lesions or any nodules. I don't feel anything. And your hair texture feels nice and silky, and the distribution is pretty even. So that looks good. That concludes the examination of the head. Next, we're moving on to your eyes. So I'm looking at your eyelids first, looking at the direction of your lashes to see that they're upturned, and I say that, see that they are. Next, I'm looking at your lids for any ptosis, which means drooping. I'm also looking for redness, edema, or swelling. Redness is also called erythema. Next, I'm looking at your conjunctiva. Could you look up for me? Bulbar and palpebral. And those look good as well. I'm also going to be assessing your sclera. This should be pearly white. And yours are, I see, mild injection. But that's probably because you're wearing contacts. But otherwise, it looks good. OK? So next, I'm going to be looking at your corneas. I'm looking for any scratching, any scarring, or any arcus. OK? To do this, I'm going to walk around to the side and shine my light. All right, just look straight ahead for me. Very good. And now for the left eye. Very good. No scarring on your corneas. Now we're gonna be looking at your irises. So I see that you have light green eyes. I'm just gonna be looking for uniformity of color throughout each iris. That looks pretty good, nice and uniform. So next, Emily, I'm going to be assessing your pupils. First, I'm going to assess them to see that they're regular, round, equal, and also I'm going to assess the size to see that they're normal, normal size, okay? Okay. To do that, I'm just going to use this chart right here. It has a guide, and your pupils are about five millimeters, and that is normal. Good. Okay? Perfect. Next, I'm going to assess your pupils' response to light. First, I'm going to do direct response, which means that when I shine this light right here in each pupil, it should constrict, okay? I'm going to start with your right pupil first. And just look right at me. Perfect. Very good. So that was direct response to light. Did it constrict? It did constrict. Very okay. good. Next, I'm assessing consensual response to light. So when I shine my light in your right pupil, your left pupil should constrict as well. OK? I'm going to block the light when I do this, all right? OK. OK, so first, your right pupil. Very good. Very good. So your eyes have both direct and consensual response to light, and that is normal. OK? Moving on, I'm going to also assess your eyes for accommodation. To do this, Emily, I'm just going to have you look right at my finger. Now I want you to look at the wall that's behind me and back at my finger. So basically, what just happened is that when you looked at my finger, your pupils constricted. When you looked at the wall, they dilated, which just means they widened. When you looked back at my finger, they constricted. And that's accommodation. OK? So next, I'm going to assess your eyes for extraocular movements with the six cardinal fields of gaze.